Pack Pack Buddies Monday, and the Pelicans presenting a special check of $3,000 to help for kids and Backpack Buddies before the game. In the second, no score, but that changing when Lucas Ersig crushing a ball into the right field corner. Ersig racing around for an RBI triple. It's 2 0. And later in the frame, Max McDowell going down the left field line. That would bring in Monte Harrison to make it 3 0, but the Pelicans would come charging back in the third. Zach Short would drive into it with a double of his own down the left field line, and then Trent Jimbroni, respect 90, legging out an infield single to score short and tie the game at three. But then, dark and ominous clouds rolling into Myrtle Beach. 3-3 game, and Carolina making sure they were in front when the rain came in. McDowell on RBI single, it's 4-3 in the fifth inning. RBI double for Troy Stokes Jr., making it 5-3. And then the tarp would come on the field with Carolina up 12-3 in the middle of the sixth inning and the game was called from there. So the Mudcats win this ball game in a rain shortened fashion by a final score of 12 to three tonight. Carolina's 49 and 50, 13 and 18, and Myrtle Beach falling to 55 and 45, 12 and 18 in the second half. Not a great offensive day again for the Pelicans, only three runs on five hits, and their bullpen really struggled. Thomas Hatch, five runs and five innings of work as the Pelicans will try to bounce back in the middle game of the three-game set of Tuesday. 7.05 first pitch, a craft beer Tuesday with $2 craft drafts from 6 to 8 p.m.